Good morning students here is your activity number 1 We know that this lockdown has reduced our play time outside but during these vacations let's go all out with handy challenges stem challenges and create for ourselves some stress busters and indoor games with the scientific logic behind them Today I will show you the technique required for making a catapult For this you will need some popsicle sticks rubber bands bottle cap and glue students you have seen how a catapult can be made and how does it work so now it's time to learn about the science behind the catapult when you use your catapult to launch a cube you are transforming potential into kinetic energy when you twist a rubber band tension is created and stored in the twisted band when you let go the rubber band the released kinetic energy helps to throw off the launched projectile kids the science behind it will help you to learn how energy is created stored transformed and converted the amount of force here is directly related to the amount of mass you can try this activity with different objects and apply different amounts of force to test it in a different manner students now here are some difficult words which you came across during this activity first is potential energy stored energy for example water stored in a dam has potential energy second kinetic energy energy during the motion example when the water boils then it has kinetic energy because water molecules are in motion third catapult a device used to launch stones projectiles to a greater distance without the help of explosives fourth force push or a pull for example when you shut a door it means you are applying force on the door fifth mass amount of substance that makes up an object for example if we talk about a table then the amount of matter that is required to make it is called its mass sixth gravity force that attracts a body towards the center of the earth for example when you throw a ball upwards it always come back to you this is because of gravity seventh projectile an object thrown with force example when you throw a ball towards your friend then the ball is called as projectile last is tension state of being stretched tight for example when you pull two ends of rubber band then it is said to be in tension Moving further there are some points that the parents can follow during this activity first to make a mark with chalk on the floor every time so that the longest distance can be known up to which the projectile can travel with the help of a catapult second to explain them why the distance varies third to help the child wherever required especially in making a catapult and working with the glue gun so now You can create a number of games using STEM techniques and be creative. From next time, just don't throw away the things which could be useful in making them. Activity number two. This is your vacation time. Let's make your vacation time more interesting. Students, do you like Oreo biscuits? Well, I know you all love to eat Oreo biscuits. Today, we will use these Oreo biscuits to learn about the phases of moon. So we will perform a simple activity which is Oreo moon phase activity. So here I am having some Oreo biscuits whose white cream part is removed according to the phases of moon and I am going to place these in the correct order. Seems fun so let's do it. So now I am placing these 
different phases of moon according to their positions you can see these phases of moon every day in the night sky now these are placed according to the correct order now the first phase is new moon here the moon is completely dark the next is waxing crescent here waxing means growing the moon grows little bit thicker every night then is the first quarter it is also called as half moon the next is waxing gibbous gibbous means swollen so we call it waxing gibbous because the moon continues to grow to the next phase the next is full moon it is brightest biggest and the easiest phase of moon to see the next is waning gibbous waning means shrinking now the moon continues this phase for the next few days then is the third quarter it is also known as last quarter next phase is waning crescent now the moon will continue to shrink every night till it vanishes completely now we will learn about some new words which you came across in the video first is revolution movement of an object around the center for example the earth moves around the sun that means the earth revolves around the sun second phase a process of change for example a moon changes its shape regularly third illumination a process of making something clearer for example when sunlight falls on the moon it gets illuminated fourth one is shrink decrease in the size students you are not able to wear your old clothes why because the clothes got shrinked fifth vanish disappear completely we can say a thing has got vanished when we are not able to see that thing the next one is quarter one of the four equal parts when you cut a cake in four equal parts then the one piece of it is called a quarter the last one is bounce off when something falls on a surface and goes back for example when a ball hits a wall and come back toward you that means the ball bounces off moving further there are some ideas for the parents too so that they can use that ideas to explain the phases of moon to the child more clearly number 1 to explain phases of moon using another food items like bread jam etc so as to develop curiosity among the children number 2 eclipses can be explained on the breakfast table using fruits or another food items so that learning can be done in a fun mood number 3 help the child at every step so that the child can perform it with full interest so now set your breakfast table in an interesting way to lure your ward to the world of space and science activity number 3 during the vacations we all go for outings and trips you leave your plants at home and always worry that what will happen to them in absence of water here comes the solution the sip model s i p self irrigated plantlet model this is so simple you can make it at your home you need one empty bottle i have used a 2 liter coke bottle cut it into two sections the bottom section carries the water and the upper part is kept upside down and is holding a plant in the soil You have to make a hole in the cap and run a string preferably a cotton string through it. This string should touch the water below. You must be surprised that how the water will travel from bottom to upper part. It will definitely happen and that too with the help of a process known as capillary action. See how amazing this process is to keep your plants hydrated even in your absence. It has so many advantages and help you enjoy your vacation without any worries. Away for vacation, 
What about watering the plants? Now here's a solution. SIP model, self-irrigated plantlet model. Let's add some new vocabulary related to this model. First is irrigate. It means to supply water to plant to help grow. Second is plantlet. It's a small or young plant. Next is model. Model is the copy of a thing. For example, model of solar system. And the last is capillary. It's a thin walled tube with a narrow passage. Parent support corner. Here, parents can explain the advantages of self-irrigated plantlet model or SIP model. First is, it saves water. The water gets trapped in the container and does not evaporate due to the dense soil covering it. Second is, it saves time. This system gives you more time for other activities without harming the plant. Third is, it keeps the roots moisturized. This system allows you to deep water the container, thus keeping roots moisturized. Fourth one is, SIP model helps in retaining nutrients in the soil because it's a closed system and there is no need to worry about losing nutrients due to drainage of excess water from the pothole. Last is hassle-free gardening. Because self-irrigated plantlet system will do most of the watering chores for you.